So these are my favorite tools that I use every single day under $20. Here we go. In no particular order, number one, these hole punches. I think they came in a pack of six when I purchased them four years ago. To this day, I still use these every single day. I haven't had a need to upgrade, and I think I bought them for $10 or something. They were not expensive. Pro tip, I love using these with an arbor press. It's so much quieter, which is essential if you have children napping or if you live in a condo. And it also requires next to no force. So I bought these at the same time I purchased the hole punches four years ago, and I still use them every single day. You can call them curved punches or corner punches. You can use them to finish the end of a strap, or you can use it to cut corners. Literally, cut corners. The only thing is that they're really ugly. When I got them, I was like, what is this? You could say they cut corners on the design of this. When I purchased them, they were about $15 for the set. And I think one of them came quite dull and I had to sharpen it, but the other ones were reusable right away. And I don't think I've sharpened them since. I might have done it one time, but in the last four years, I probably, yeah, sharpened them at most once. For $15, this was a great buy. Number three, I've got brass stamps. Uh, these stamps are used to basically emboss on leather. You can use it with a heat press on oil tan or chrome tan leather, or you can use them on vegetable tan leather, just as is without uh, any heat. If you look around to places near you, you'll find that these brass stamps can be incredibly expensive, upwards of $100. But I purchased this stamp off AliExpress for 15 bucks. And you know what? The quality is awesome. I know people are always concerned about purchasing from China due to quality concerns or shipping time. You don't have to worry about the quality aspect. These are extremely well made, very detailed. I had this crazy stamp made. It's extremely intricate, very fine detail, and it came out perfectly. This one was about 40 bucks, I think. As for waiting time and shipping time, it can take a long time. It could take like 40, 60 days even. And that's only if you select free shipping. If you purchase their express shipping options, it usually comes in two weeks. So even if you pay for express shipping plus the stamp, it's gonna be cheaper than anything you can find here. Number four, these scissors. I always rave about these scissors because they're just awesome. For $20, you can cut through one inch thick leather with these. I've got an Ikea catalog with these. These are just the strongest scissors I've used in leather craft. My only complaint is that the rubber's starting to peel. You can see that there. Some wear and tear is, is bound to happen after two years, so. But I use them multiple times a day for the last two years, and they're still as sharp as the day I purchased them. Okay, number five are clicker dies. So clicker dies are basically just cookie cutters for leather or for like felt, foam, cloth. They look like this. These dies I got from AliExpress and I think the set cost me 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks. Each one was probably like 10, or 10 to 15 dollars. They save you so much time. If you're mass producing anything, you need clicker dies. Even if you're not mass producing it, if you're making keychains or earrings that are intricately shaped or small little accent pieces, I totally recommend purchasing these dies and using it with your arbor press. All you have to do is put a piece of metal on it, a sheet of metal, and then press down in multiple spots. I really like them. They speed up the process like crazy and they don't break the bank. Number six are these makeup brushes. I know that's a super weird thing to use in Leathercraft, but I use these to spread glue. These are silicone tipped, and I bought a pack of two a few years ago for $5, and I'm still on the first one. I have had no need to use this one because they're gonna last forever. All I did to make it a little better is, you see this, there's a curve here. I don't know if this is for like applying on your eyebrows or something. I know nothing about makeup, so like this, like this, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. I basically just cut off the tip so it was straight. I just used a knife and, 
and that spreads glue a little better than this. The best thing is you don't have to wash these. You can just, once the glue dries, you just peel it off and it's ready to go again. So these are awesome. I highly recommend the $5 investment. Okay, number seven. This is probably the most boring one, but it's a scratch all, which is just a pointy metal thing. And I use this all the time. This was $6 from Tandy Leather. You can buy these at the hardware store. This is a nice size though. I really like how small it is because I have tiny children hands. So it's nice to have smaller tools once in a while. I use this to trace patterns, to unclog my glue, to trace stitch lines, to poking stitch holes further, you know, all sorts of things. It's extremely useful, $6. Like I said, it doesn't break the bank and it's a very useful thing to have. Number eight is the sharpening plate and leather strop. I wish I purchased this right from the beginning. I got this last year from Wuta Leather for about $20 and you can sharpen all sorts of your leather tools, including your French skivers, your bevelers, and just using it as a stropper for your knives. It's so nice to have sharp tools. Leathercraft is so much more enjoyable when your tools work the way they should. Yeah, this thing is awesome and it was only $20. So number nine is Ulfa's Heavy Duty Black Blades. I used to use those silver knives that came, the Ulfa knife, and then one day my dad said, why would you use those? Use these. And he showed me these extremely sharp black blades. They're crazy sharp. They will take off your fingers, literally. They're about a pack of 10 for $10, or you could buy a pack of 50 for like 25 bucks. So worth every penny. They're not the cheapest blades, but you can preserve them for longer if you use them with a leather strop, so. The last thing I use every single day would be these refillable dye markers. I pour the leather dye into this and then I use it to paint all my edges. I used to use a Q-tip to dye my edges, which is insane, now that I think about it, and extremely time consuming. And then I saw Ryan Savin from Little King Goods use these and my life changed. These are awesome. They're the quickest, most convenient, mess-free way of dyeing your edges. Could not recommend these enough. These are probably $6 US. You can also buy these off AliExpress for like three bucks. So those are the 10 things I use every single day and all of them are under 20 bucks. Links for everything is in the description below. Please like and subscribe. Also, have an awesome day and I will see you next week. All my best, God bless. <laughs>